we don't vote on a medicine. We don't. It's not. It's not. A, it's not an issue of public opinion. And, and most of our, all of our food and drugs go through the FDA process. Why is this? A, why does this get its own special process of becoming marketable? That's not the best way to do to, to determine what what is medicine. I mean, people don't cook things up in their basement and then say, "Hey, I like this. This is great. Let's let's put it out to the voters and see if they think it's medicine." That's not how that's not how medicine is determined here. It's unlikely that if you were in pain after uh, an operation or you were in an emergency room having had a bad fracture, that the doctor would come up to you and say, I want to help you with your pain, so I'd like you to smoke some opium. What they're li more likely to do is come up to you and say, I can see you in terrible pain, and I'm going to give you some medication called morphine. Morphine was isolated, characterized, uh, standardized, purified and now is available as a medication to be dosed appropriately for patients that could benefit from that. The Food and Drug Administration provides the responsible avenue for establishing the safety and effectiveness of medication and from my point of view that's the route that we need to go to bypass that uh, and put physicians in the middle of a, of a, a process that they're not um, equipped to um, participate in, to write a letter of certification that has no expiration date that basically says, gee, go ahead and use marijuana for the rest of your life. I mean, that is, there's no medication that I would ever do something like that. I want their health and well-being to improve. Thank you.